Hey there guys, it's Kim George here with YourChicGeek.com and I want to welcome you to a brand spanking new video. Now, I had planned to originally do an optimization video tutorial for manual ads, but I realized that I had never created a video to show you guys how I go about setting up my manual ads for Amazon KDP. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. And then in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to optimize your Amazon ads. Okay. So before we dive off into this video, I'd love for you guys to like, share, subscribe, comment, shout out to all of you good people that are new to the channel. Shout out to y'all for helping me get to 14,000 subscribers. I cannot believe it. We're on the road to 15 K. It's been great. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with this and I hope you guys are enjoying the content. Now, for those of you that are new to the world of passive income and you're looking for some ideas on passive income products that you can create, I have a free swipe file that you should definitely check out that covers 101 different types of money making products that you can create for passive profits. So you can click the link in the description below to get access to that free swipe file. Now let's get into the video. So one of the questions that I get a lot about is ads, is Amazon ads. Now I want to caveat this video and start off by saying that guys, I am not a pro. I think I mentioned this in one of my last videos. I'm not a pro. I'm not a master at this. With Amazon ads, you have to do a lot of tweaking, a lot of testing and so forth until you find something that works for you. But here again, I'm just going to show you guys really quickly how I go about setting up my manual ads. Now, one of my previous videos, I went through the process that I use to set up automatic ads, which I think are the best for beginners. So if you haven't seen that video, definitely head over to check that out. But let's dive into this real quick. OK, so um, hopefully by now you have signed up for an Amazon ads account. It is free to sign up. You're going to have to go through all the steps. You're going to have to give them your credit card information, you know, put in all your um contact information and so on and so forth in order to get started now really quickly before we dive off into setting up the manual ads one thing that i didn't realize when i first started running ads to amazon kdp or on amazon kdp is that if you want to run ads on multiple marketplaces you're going to have to sign up individually to each marketplace to do that so in order to do that what you'll do is you're going to log into the back end of your account you're going to go over to marketing. OK, now, once you get into marketing, you're going to come down to the section that says Amazon ads. And then what you're going to do is you're going to choose each marketplace that you want to run ads in. So, for example, I am running ads in Amazon.com, which is the U.S. marketplace. There is the Amazon.co.uk, which is the U.K. marketplace, Canada in Australia. So these are all, I'm actually running ads in all four of these. I just realized that, but you'll have to go in and you'll have to select each one individually. And then you'll have to click to um, go to the ads console in order to, again, get started with setting up an account to that specific marketplace. And you will have to add your payment information for each one of those marketplaces in order to run ads. So I just wanted to make sure that you guys were clear on that. Now for setting up your manual campaign, um, what we're going to do is head on over to the back end of the Amazon console and let's go ahead and get into this. So I'm in the U.S. console or the U.S. marketplace. So what I want to do is I want to go to where it says advertising console. I'm going to click on that. OK, so now this is going to take me into my current advertising um, console for Amazon. Now, as you can see, my A cost is kind of high and this that's to be expected because I'm running. Um, I just the month is just starting. So this is just the first of the month. And so I still don't you know, I haven't really generated a lot of sales and things like that yet. So hopefully that A cost will go down over the course of this month. Now, the next thing that you want to do is you want to go down to the section right here that says create a campaign. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. OK, so after you come to this section, you want to choose under sponsor products. You want to click on that and then you want to click continue here. All right. And then what you want to do here is for your ad format, I always choose standard ad because the custom stuff, the custom text ad is where you need to type in things in a custom way um, so that you want it to appear a certain way or you want to put different words into it. I never do that. I just choose standard ad. And then here, this is where you want to give your ad a group name. Now, what I do whenever I'm naming my ads is I associate it with the type of book or books that I'm running. So, for example, if I'm running a an advertisement 
for a St. Patrick's Day um, book or something like that, or a group of books, then what I'll do is I'll put in St. Patty's Day, and then I'll do manual ad, and then I'll put that there. And it just lets me know that this is a St. Patrick's Day manual ad that I am running, okay? Now, what you wanna do down here is under products is you want to put in the ASIN of a product that you are planning to run a manual campaign to. So I'm just gonna go here and select one of my products that I'm gonna run an ad to. I'm gonna click on the first one and I'm gonna click to add that product over here to the right. So once you've added the product that you want to run your manual ad to, you wanna come under targeting and you want to click manual targeting because again, we want to manually add the keywords and things like that into this campaign for targeting purposes, okay? Now under manual targeting, you can see there's two options. You have keyword targeting and you have product targeting. As you can see here, keyword targeting is where you're gonna give the list of keywords that you want Amazon to present your book for, okay? And then the product targeting is where you're gonna type in the ASIN and the, um, the product numbers or something like that. I think it's the ASIN numbers, right? Yeah, so it's the ASIN number of specific products that you want Amazon to put your books in front of or next to or beside, okay? Now we're gonna do keyword targeting because we want to target or run ads to target specific keywords, okay? So now we're go what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on down and right here where it says suggested, we, want, we don't wanna do that. We want to click enter list because you wanna give Amazon the list of keywords that you want to use. Now, I typically, under the match types, I don't do all of all three of these. I've seen some people do exact and phrase. I really don't do that. I'm sorry, not exact and phrase, but exact and broad. I don't do that. I like to stick to exact. So I'm gonna uncheck phrase, I'm gonna uncheck broad, and then this is where you start typing in your keywords for specific books. So say for example, you were running an ad for, like I said, St. Patrick's Day for a uh, an activity book or something like that for kids or a dot marker coloring book. So what you would do is you would start typing in St. Patrick's Day dot. Okay, so you see that? So what it's going to do is it's going to give you a couple of words here. So you have dot to dot and you have dot markers. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add all of those words to, to the keywords list. Okay. The more, the better. So then you could also think about, okay, well, what other ways can I explain my St. Patrick's Day dot marker book to uh, reach the audience that I'm trying to reach? So someone would probably be going in and typing in St. Patrick's Day dot markers, St. Patrick's Day uh, coloring, St. Patrick's Day activity books. So all of those are keywords that you can start typing in to see what kind of uh, keywords this tool is going to give you. So I'll do St. Patrick's Day activity books. Okay. And so this is going to bring up more keywords. And so I'm just going to add all of these to the list. And then you can also do St. Patrick's Let's do St. Patrick's Day. All right, so here's some more, some more coloring, okay? So coloring. So you can see there is a lot of things that come up for our coloring books. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to go to add all the keywords to this list. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this up. Now I know that my book is not going to be for adults, so I'm gonna go in here, highlight this word, I'm gonna backspace this and delete that. I know it's not gonna be for a tablecloth, so I'm gonna remove that. I know it's not gonna be a coloring poster, so I'm gonna remove that. If you have a book that's for toddlers, you can keep that keyword. It's not gonna be sheets. It's not gonna be any kind of bulk items. So everything that I know is not related is going to be removed. Now, I will say that because there is not enough keywords in here for this specific range of words, what you kind of maybe, well, no, what you may wanna do and what I would do is because I try to aim for at least 20 or so keywords or more in my manual campaigns. So what I could do in order to get other keywords that people could possibly be using to get to my products is I would go ahead and check broad, okay? So now you have a broad match and then now you have the exact match here that you're um, asking Amazon to use to put your books in front of hopefully the right people. Okay guys, so I, <laughs> I accidentally deleted all of the information over here and I was not supposed to do that. 
Um, what I forgot to do, and I should have did this first, was before even entering in the keywords, um, is to enter in the custom bid. I forgot about that. So my bad. So I went back, of course, added the custom bid here of 31 cents, and then um, I added all the keywords. So I'm gonna do add keywords. Now you're gonna see that Amazon is going to add all of these with the, with the custom bid that we set, and that's what you want. You don't want to go too crazy with the bidding, okay? And I never do their suggested bid because they're just always too high. All right, so we're going to keep going, keep going, keep going. Again, dynamic bits only is what we want. We're going to name the campaign name, St. Patty's Day Manual Ad. We're going to do March 1st. And then I think for an end date of this one, specifically because it's for St. Patty's Day, then I'm going to go ahead and go back all the way up until, let's see, around March the 18th or the 9th. I'll do the March the 20th because St. Patty's Day is on the 17th, I think. Yes, yeah, on the 17th. So I'll go all the way up until around March the 20th, and then we'll set a daily budget for $3. And then you want to click launch campaign. All right. And then that, my friends, is pretty much all you need to do in order to set up a manual campaign. Now, again, I'm going to do a video that's going to show you guys how to optimize your manual campaigns. But um, this is pretty much what I do to run my campaigns for manual ads. I hope this was helpful for you. If you like this video, please be sure to share it with people who you think would benefit from it. Thank you guys again for helping me get to 14,000 subscribers. I cannot believe it. <laughs> Excuse me. You guys are great. And um, thanks so much for watching. Y'all stay safe out there and I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay. Bye.